Cruces restaurant owner is charged with the first degree murder of his wife. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. Robert Yacon allegedly shot his wife in their home on Sunday. He himself was shot by deputies at the scene. The Donian County Sheriff held a press conference this afternoon to update the investigation. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler files our top story tonight. Yellow tape around Yacon's family home this weekend. An injury to her front, her face, and some injury to her back. Deputies found Kimberly Yacon in her bedroom unresponsive this Sunday after allegedly being shot by her husband, Robert Yacon. He speaks to having a handgun. The call came from Robert's 21 year old son, while Kimberly's 17 year old son witnessed the shooting. When deputies came in, they found Yacon on the balcony and ordered him to show himself from behind the wall. Uh, within eight seconds, Shots are fired. Yacon is now in hospital and is expected to survive, charged with first degree murder of his wife and as felon in possession of a firearm. Over this last year, she filed four restraining orders. According to court documents, Kimberly Yacon filed for divorce in February of this year, along with a temporary restraining order. Sheriff Kim Stewart says they found more weapons at his home, but were not aware he owned them before, even though Yacon had two previous felonies. The doors of the restaurant are closed today, and here, just by the entrance, a cross was put with Kimberly Yacon's picture. Some customers even driving by to see what's going on. Her situation, unfortunately, is not unusual. Sheriff says the temporary restraining order is supposed to go to a hearing to become permanent. That's when Yacon would be asked about possession of firearms. And despite New Mexico's red flag law, that would enforce surrendering weapons in such a situation. Um, we should have been the ones to be receiving all these firearms. This happened too late. And in Doniana County, it seems not at all. We've received none. And that was Carla Draxler reporting. The sheriff's office is currently investigating both the officer involved shooting as well as the murder. The sheriff says three deputies have been put on administrative leave as per department policy.